Hey guys, welcome back. Well, I just got home from work a few minutes ago and uh, right in behind me came the FedEx truck and uh, brought me these uh, pistol grip boilers. Um, and I wanted to share them with you because uh, I like these things. They're pretty decent quality and they're made in the USA. So uh, what I'll do is um, I'll cut the camera and zoom in on these things and, and tell you a little bit about them and why I like them. Be right back. All right, I hope you can see these pretty good. Um, I think I just kicked the camera stand, sorry about that. Uh, these are made by the Dutton Laneson Company in Hastings, Nebraska. Um, so they're made in the USA. Uh, I believe these are called Model 600s. I'll post up all the model numbers uh, in the end of the video. Um, but uh, I particularly like this one because it has a case hardened trigger for heavier oils like whey oils, um, some of your heavier machine oils. Um, they make several different models. These are the small ones and I'll break one apart and show you the quality of these things. I'm not sure if you can see that, but they're pretty decent. They're a lot better than some of the other ones I, I see out in the market today, but um, I wanted to share them with you. Um, they're fairly inexpensive. I think this one's like $6.99. Oh, I'm sorry. This one's $6.99 without the case hardened trigger. And this one's $9.99. Um, this one has a flexible spout to get into those little oil cups on your machines or wherever you need to get. Um, or you can put cutting oil in it. Uh, whatever. Um, I, I got a bunch of these things now. Um, I even have one that has the little push oiler in the bottom. And then, uh, of course, I'll post the part numbers of these. Um, anyway, uh, this one I wanted to show you. This one's very special to me. Uh, this was my dad's. Um, he was a plumbing contractor and he did a lot of pipe threading. Um, and this is what he put his uh, cutting oil in, his sulfur-based cutting oil for his big uh, threading rig. And uh, this is made by the Eagle Company, made in USA. And he had a lot of really good quality tools for his company. And uh, he gave this to me uh, when I was a little older um, and I started getting into working on cars and um, I was into drag racing when I was younger and um, he gave me some really neat stuff for it. So this one kind of sits on my machine and it reminds me of my dad. So uh, this one's made pretty well too. So hey, let's take a comparison. Um, that's how that one's made. If I were to guess, I would say this is about, geez. 50 years old would be a guesstimate. Uh, I'm not really sure, but uh, he had a bunch of these on his work trucks. And <clears throat> anyway, I wanted to share that with you. There is, uh, when I was doing my homework on these, there is one that is really, really, really good. And it's made by a Swiss company. And I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but it's, uh, I think it's Ryling. R-E-I-L-A-N-G. It's about $50, but I'll tell you what, man, it's made like a tank. I think maybe one day I'll spring for one. Um, I looked them up on the internet. Um, I don't have a picture or anything to show you here, but maybe I can post a picture of one on the end of the video. But uh, they're neat. Apparently, uh, they'll pump oil, and they're, and they're the uh, pistol-style oiler, but it'll pump upside down on its side. Um, they have a nice uh, billet aluminum uh, bottle, super heavy duty pump on the inside. Anyway, um, you got to check it out anyway, just to look at them. It's, it's pretty cool eye candy for just an oiler, but uh, it would look pretty neat on a machine. Anyway, um, wanted to share that with you. Um, just a quick short video. I hope everyone's doing well and uh, we'll see everyone soon. See ya.